Hey folks, welcome to our blog. Gotten a lot of questions from you folks, especially from the Muskie 360 app on what reel do I match up with what rod and what lure? And that is, that's an interesting question. You know, it's, it's the same thing I covered kind of in rods in that rods are kind of like golf clubs. You know, you need to have a full set of golf clubs to really play the whole game. And you know, you need a full set of rods to really play the whole game of musky fishing, especially if you can use a wide variety of lures. The same is, is, is definitely true with reels. And what's going on today, you know, there were years ago when I first started musky fishing, there, there wasn't a lot of a selection. You know, there was what they called a standard a gear ratio reel, which was basically a four and a half or five to one gear ratio reel. And then they, called a, they had a high speed version, which is basically a six to one. And there wasn't much else, you know, really in the offering. There was different sizes in the reels, which we're gonna talk about, by the way, too. Because spool size does make a difference. But, you know, in today's world, you know, I, I, I'm just, I'm a Daiwa guy, so right now anyway, and uh, you can see that on these reels, you can see the gear ratios on them. There's a five to one. Here's a 6.3 to one. And here's a seven to one gear ratio. And then I've even got here a uh, an eight to one. So, you know, when do I use these different gear ratios? So I'm gonna try and simplify that for you. Extremes from like the five to one to the eight to one are there's a there's a big difference in those in the in the retrieve and the amount of line it picks up per revolution on the spool. You know, when your spool is full. And you should always have your spool full on your musky reels. When your spool is full, and you, you, you know it'll make a difference, by the way, in how much line is picked up on each revolution of this spool. And also, the gear ratio um, in, on your reel, you know, will make a difference on each time you make one one complete crank. How much how much spool ratio? How much how many times the spool actually turns? How much line is picked up? Let's try to make it real simple for you. On the low geared end, you're looking for power. You're looking for power and you're looking for slower speed. Okay, there's a couple times when you want that. On the high geared end, like the seven to ones and the eight to ones, you're looking for less power and more pickup, more line pickup. Now there are real manufacturers out today that brag that they can do both. And I, while we can argue that all day long, they're still, there's those times when you want a low geared reel and you sometimes when you want that high geared reel. So what about the stuff in between? That's the thing I really want to focus on in the beginning of this is if you're, you know, if your budget is, is tight and you're looking for one reel or two reels, one or two reels, you know that, uh, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, this one here. That's 6.3 to one. That's 6.3 to one or six to one gear ratio reel is a good all around reel. And I would have to say that I use the 6.3 to one most of the time for a lot of the reels, a lot of the lures I use, whether it's blades, uh, especially smaller blades like, you know, the Booker Till 500 and 700, and even the 800 twin. Um, and most of my crankbaits, I use a six to one, okay? So 6.3 6 to one in the particular, in the Daiwa Lexus series is popular with me. So I use that now. With that in mind, just keeping that reel in, in, you know, in your repertoire, just buying that one reel, the 6.3 to 1, which you know, is a good all around, it, it, it'll, it'll crank slow enough, it'll crank fast enough, still has enough power, the 6.3 is a good choice. Now, what I would also consider doing though, is adding that same 6.3 to 1 in the smaller reel, okay? So now, if you're gonna have two reels, they're both 6.3 to 1, but they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna handle different lures and, and, and they're gonna retrieve a little bit different because of the, the spool size and the overall weight and size of the reel. I use this smaller 300 an awful lot with the 6.3 to one. I use it an awful lot with all my smaller lures. Whether I'm fishing the smaller blades like the, you know, the 500 Booker tail, the five inch shallow raider, the five and six inch you know, class depth raider, the, the JB rattler. I'm using the 6.3 300 class reel most of the time, you know, with, uh, for example, St. Croix Downsizer Rod Series. And by the way, whenever I'm using the 300 reel, I'm always using 65 pound beast braid, 
65, not 80, okay? We talk about several line sizes, two in particular, the 65 and the 80. When I'm fishing the 300, and 6.3 to one most of the time, okay? I'm fishing the 65 pound test, why? Well, when I go down in real size, you know, you're going down in spool diameter and, and the real thick lines, the thicker 80 pound in, in, or more, it, you don't, it doesn't spool, in my opinion, it doesn't spool as well at 80 pound on these smaller reels and you'll lose too much spool diameter on the end of the cast where you won't with the 65. There's another reason I like the 65 too, by the way. When I'm fishing with the downsizer rods, there's enough flex in those rods to begin with that I'm never putting that much pressure on the line. Okay, but I get so much more better performance out of not only the cast, but the way the lures run with the 65. And when I want more depth, especially when I'm fishing that little depth raider or even the JB Rattler on the sink and drop, rip and drop style retrieves, that 65 cuts deeper, right? Makes the crankbait run deeper. So I fish 65 on the 300 exclusively. I never fish 80 on the 300, okay? Now, at the same time, just taking those two reels we're talking about on the 6.3 to 1. Okay, we got the 400 class, or the larger reel, okay? When you fish the larger reel, I rarely, I, I, I don't, I won't fish 65 on this reel. This is a large capacity, large line capacity reel. I'm going to fish 80. I'm going to fish 80 pound test on that on 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 the 400 pound, on the 400 class reels, and you know any of these reels we're talking about. If you're not a Daiwa guy, if you're a Shimano guy or a Garcia guy, hey, and whatever else is out there, you know they're all good reels. These 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 manufacturers. There's so much competition between these companies. You either make a good product or, you know, you're going to be left on the sidelines because these guys are all making great reels. And I just happen to like these reels, and and I've gotten to know them really well, and they they just perform for me. But 80 pound on the bigger reel, 65 on the smaller reel. So, if you want two reels, like I said, you want two reels, get a 300 and get a 400, and get just 6.3 to one, and you're making your, your life real simple. But you wanna make things a little more complicated, or you wanna improve your golf game, you wanna increase the amount of things you can do, now we're gonna talk about some other things, okay? Let's talk about uh, fishing really difficult or, or really difficult to retrieve high drag lures, double tens. Okay, when I'm fishing double tens, me, and, I, and you know, when I say any of this kind of stuff, I'm saying me, this is the way I fish them, okay? The 6.3 to one, it's, it works, but it's gonna create some drag. Some, in other words, it's gonna be harder to, to grind this through the water and you're gonna get good speed out of it if it's all gonna perform and everything, but, Hour after hour, cast after cast, you're, you're feeling a lot of drag when you're when you when those big blades are revolving with 6.3 to one. That's when I go to 5.5 5 to one gear ratio. I'll go to the low geared, stronger crank power series. You know they call these the power series, the P P of uh, the the uh, 400 PWR power. Okay, five to one gear ratio reels are great for double tens. I would rather do this than, than go like this, you know, or going like this to try and get a big blade up. It's much easier for me to cast and have little resistance or almost no resistance with a low geared reel and crank faster to keep it up than uh, to try and take a high speed reel and, you know, kind of slow down. So, you know, that the, the just think about it this way. When you're cranking a boat out of the water, when you got a winch system, you're cranking a big boat out of the water, or you're 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 hauling a big buck up on it, you know, on a pole or whatever, you, you gotta have you know a low geared winch to, to get a, you know a heavy heavy boat or you know anything you're trying to lift, you, if you gotta have low gears power to get that thing to come up. It's easier for a little gear to make a complete revolution than it is a big gear to make a revolution. It's harder for that to happen. So five to one when you want power. Now, at the same time, the five to one really works great when you want to slow things down for cold water, okay? Or if you're doing a you know what I love that what I love to do with with double tens, for example, I love to just grind them fast early in my retrieve and then back off and let them disappear out of sight, 
and then you know pick them back up again as I get close to the boat. And this, you know, the the low geared reel makes it real easy to do that because you're just you crank it, you're cranking it real fast, and as you slow down, you really do slow down. Okay, so there, you know, that that's the power when you when anytime you're fishing a, a big deep diving crankbait that's dragging too hard. Uh, double bladed baits, you know, the, these big double blades is classic for the power series five to one. Now, what about seven to one, eight to one? Okay, a couple things real quick on that. <clears throat> Here's a seven to one gear ratio reel uh, that I use a lot. It's, it's in, you know, in the Daiwa series, it's the Lexa. It's called their H. S series, you know, HS series, or they call it their HSP. So because seven to one, they, they still, you know, it's not their their highest speed reel, which is their eight to one. The seven to one is, they're still, they're calling it HS high speed with power. So seven, you know, a lot of guys like seven to one gear ratio reel because they want more, more speed and, and this HS power series will give it to them. So when you want high speed, warm water, easy to crank baits, okay? I really like the seven to one for, for jerk baits. Because it's you know I want quick pickup, but when you're when you for example when you jerk on a on a lure, you're pulling it with your rod. You're not pulling it with your reel most times. So you boom, but as soon as you make that jerk, you want to pick up your line quick. See, with a five to one gear ratio, you're going to go like this. You jerk and you go. Where with a with a seven to one, boom. See, so you're back there already. So a high speed reel is great with jerk baits. Excellent with jerk baits. Top water lures, like, like the top reader. You know, if you want some, you want to get good speed out of your bait real easily, and there's no resistance, cast it out, and it's going to just give you, a, you know, a big, a big sputter on your on your tail on your uh, tail rotating crank uh, top water lure real easy with a seven to one. So those are two spots where I really love the seven to one. Another place I like the seven to one gear ratio reel too is for really high small bladed blades and high speed in warm water. High speed in warm water, you know, small blades aren't gonna, don't have a lot of resistance and you can really, really crank them fast in warm water to get these fish to hit. A seven to one will give you that extra speed. Lipless crankbaits, lipless crankbaits really work great. In, 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 you know, because they're, all, they're, they're, a, they're a low resistance lure. So you're gonna get a lot more, you know, vibration, a lot more speed, quick speed out of a, out of a lipless crankbait with very little effort with a seven to one. You know, every time you retrieve this, it's just, it's going through the water. Now, if you're fishing a lipless crankbait in cold water, you wouldn't want this because it would crank it too fast. So there are those, those drawbacks, but, or, you know, there's, there's always an opposite to everything. But my number one time I like the seven to one is with the jerk bait. Okay, the seven to one gear ratio reel, you know, is a jerk bait reel. You can pull, you pull with your rod, you're right back there. You, it's not with a five to one, for example, pull. It's, it's just much easier with a seven to one. Finally, finally, let's wrap this up with the eight to one. Here we go. When do I fish an eight to one? I've had some, re I've had a few success stories with this eight to one. I've had a few success stories, but it's pretty cool. Okay, I really fished the eight to one um, on the 300 reel and a nine foot uh, downsizer, St. Croix downsizer rod um, for two lures, lipless crankbait and the 500 booker tail. When I've got clear water, warm, really warm water, clear water, and I want to hound that 500, I want to throw it 14 miles and I want to bring that bait through the water as fast as it is physically possible, uh, the eight to one does it. You know, it's gonna create some drag because you're, you're cranking really fast, but it really will give you a high speed uh, spin, a spinner, inline spinner that'll just almost, you know, you'll blow it out of the water, it'll crank it so fast. Perfect for buzz baits. You know, if you're fishing any kind of surface bait, buzz bait. You wanna get buzz baits up quickly, seven ones or eight to ones. Eight to ones an unbelievable reel for, for buzz baits. And, lipless crankbaits. You know, if you want a high speed, lipless, little lipless crankbaits and you and in warm water and you want lots of speed, long cast lots of speed, eight to one. So wrapping it up, five to one, six to one, seven to one, eight to one. Those are four key things, okay? Low gear on the five to one, power. Eight to one, seven to one, eight to one, speed, high speed, less power, okay? Six. 0.3 to 1, or 6.3 to 1 is like the great middle ground. If you're looking for one real 
diameter, one, excuse me, one real, real ratio, retrieve ratio that will kind of get you where you want to go with, you know, with little, less rods and reels, the 6.3 will get you. It'll get you there. But if you add the 5 to 1, now you can crank the big double blades much easier. If you add the 7 to 1, you're going to be better with a jerk bait. Way, you're going to get better line pickup. And if you add the 8 to 1, now you've got that extreme for buzz baits, lipless crank baits, and high speed bucktails, small bucktails. Hope you enjoyed this week's vlog.